Hello guys, welcome to the bonus video tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to texture 3D objects in Blender. As this is going to be a very basic method, so if you are looking to create your own 3D textures for models and applying them, then this is not a tutorial for you. We will use already prepared texture from Google and will apply that to the object. It is also very helpful in a case. For example, you have downloaded some model from Google and the file has all the textures included. But somehow when you use that model in a game or in Blender, then the textures are not showing. So you can use this method to fix it. So let's get started. To keep things simple, we will use this cube and we'll texture it. We will make it look like a wooden box. Right now, we do not have any textures that we can use. So, we can use Google to get some textures. So, open up Google. Look for wooden box textures in Google. As you can see, there are plenty of textures that we can use. I did however download one texture already that we will use in this tutorial. I will upload it with the lecture so you can use it from there. This is the texture that I was talking about. We will use this one. So first of all, switch to edit mode. Now, expand this window and look for a sphere shaped icon. Now you can see that there are two sphere shape icons. In order to know which one is the correct one, you can hover over your mouse on the icon. And after a few seconds, a black dialog will appear on which you can see the details about the icon. So this one says world, but we are looking for material icon. So let's check the other one. This one says material. Perfect. So click on it. You can see that a material is already present here. But if there is no material then you can always create a new material by clicking on this dialog. Now the material has been created. Perfect. Now look for the icon which says texture. This one. Now before getting further, you might be wondering why we need a material. Well, the reason is quite simple. Without a material, we can't have a texture. A material holds a texture. One material means you can hold one texture. Two materials mean two textures and so on. We need only one texture, so we only created one material. So you can see we do not have any texture in Blender right now, so let's import it. First, create a new texture by clicking on this dialog. Now the type contains a cloud type texture. We need to change it to image. And one more thing. A window below this, you can see the preview. Currently, it is showing a cloudy texture. So let's see what happens when we select image.
it's all black. This is because we haven't imported the texture. So scroll down a little. And you will see an option which says open. Click on it. Now open the texture file wherever you saved it on your operating system. Now scroll down until you see the mapping window. The first option says coordinates and is currently set to generated. This means the coordinates of the texture have been generated automatically by Blender. You need to change it to UV. For further information about the UV in Blender, check out its official website, which is www.blender.org. After that, we need to change the layout of Blender screen to UV editing. Just to see if the coordinates are properly generated. The screen will split into two parts. On the right side, you can see the normal view, while on the left, we have a view for UV editing. On the left bottom side of the screen, you can see the option right next to image. Click on it. A window will expand which will contain your texture file. Open up your texture. Texture is looking ok. If you need to edit it, you can do it here very easily by clicking on it and dragging. Now change the layout to default. Change the mode to object mode. Now we need to apply the texture to the cube. This is the last step. On the bottom of the screen of Blender, you can see an object mode box, which I told you about in the previous tutorials. Right next to it, you can see one more box. Click on it. It will expand and you will see that it says viewport shading. Right now, we have a solid viewport. Let's change it to texture. Voila! The texture have been applied. If you rotate the view, you will see that the sides of the cube are black. Let me show you. So, this does not mean that the texture have not been applied to the whole cube. This is just the lack of light in the scene. So, if we will adjust the lamp in the view, the sides will show the textures. Let me show you. So anyway, this is it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoy. If you face any problem, then feel free to text me anytime and have a great day.